She take my money when well, I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over town that digs on me. Uh. Action. We are an amazing society. Really screwed up. For a while there, we were the most beautiful economy in all of Europe. Irish politicians were walking around saying, Look at us. Aren't we great? We were like the Kieran Knightley of economies. And now we're like a transvestite has been punched in the face. <laughs> they never told us that if your banks collapse, we're going to make every taxpayer in the country pay for their problems. I don't think that was part of the deal. And when the IMF arrived in Ireland, they asked for financial records. And we handed them two betting slips and said, that's all we've left. <laughs> There's 15 billion on the three o'clock at Doncaster. <laughs> This is all nuts. We're going crazy here. It's going to end in tears. Tisha, do you plan to sell off state assets to make the 85 billion that we need for Europe? We don't even have any more cash for gold shops. We have cash for bronze, cash for iron, cash for any old iron. We simply don't go after people who have been grotesquely corrupt. The Queen arrived in Ireland, but it wasn't just the Queen. We've had Barack Obama. We've had the Dalai Lama. It feels a little bit like everyone's visiting the hospital bed to say goodbye, quite frankly. <laughs> find uh, two billion from the sale of non-strategic state assets. How would we define non-strategic? Non-strategic means non-strategic. Thank you, Tisha. Get down, girl, go ahead, get down. Get down, girl, go ahead.